Hi, my name is Julie Philbrook and I coordinate the injury prevention programs for Hennepin Healthcare. Did you know that falls are the most leading cause of injury for almost all age groups and specifically for older people, falls in their homes? So today we're going to take a tour of a home and find out where the hazards are and also what you can do to make your home safer. So let's start out in the living room. So we're going to point out a few things. Looks pretty good right now, but a little closer look, you can see that we've got our cat here who, uh, who loves to follow me around. And oftentimes pets can get underfoot, especially when you're cooking in the kitchen or cleaning. So you want to be sure that you know where your pet is. Maybe put a bell on your cat's collar or your dog so that you can know where they are so that they don't get in the way and cause you to trip and fall. Because we want to prevent the, the most serious injuries from falls are traumatic brain injuries. So we want to make sure that everybody stays safe and protects their brain especially. Another thing you might find in your home is your running cords so that you can power up your computer or light your lights. Now these of course you get up and easily trip and fall on these. So you want to make sure that they're secured and uh, out of the way but never run the cords underneath a rug or a carpet. That also can, could be a fire hazard. And then just something as simple as this rug that's pretty stationary but you can see here that the corner is starting to come up. So you can get things to attach the rug to the floor or consider taking the rug up. If you think it's an issue or if you're having a concern about the corners turning up, you don't want to sacrifice your safety for the look of the room. Okay, so now we've moved into the kitchen. And uh, there's a couple things in here that I want to point out that can be a safety hazard. And again, rethink really about how you have your home set up. For example, they have this beautiful throw rug here that adds a look to the house and, and uh, helps to maybe keep the carpet a little cleaner. But you can see here how slippery this is. This is a, a hazard for anybody walking in your home, young or old. So again, you may want to rethink having that down there at all, um, or we'll talk in a few minutes about what you can do to make it safer. Okay, next we'd like to talk about something we all think about every day, and that is good, putting on good, safe footwear. You want to make sure that you've got sturdy shoes that have got good grip on the surface so that you're not going to risk a fall. That's inside and outside of the house. Also, making sure that the shoes and, and coats and backpacks aren't left right by the door that somebody can come in and trip on. So making sure that your entrances to your home are safe for everybody that's coming in. So next we're going to talk about some simple things you can do to make your life a little safer and maybe even a little easier. One thing we suggest is if you're going to go out for a walk put some, and you're going to carry some items, a book or something with you, put it in a backpack and stick it on your back. That will leave your hands free, allow you to maintain some good balance. Um, when the rugs are, are on a slippery surface, you can get some uh, gripper that you can buy. You can cut it to the size of your rug and that will help prevent some of that slipping. The bathroom has a lot of hard surfaces on it and we find that a lot of people will slip and, and maybe hit their head in the bathroom. One thing you can do is you can get a rubber mat that you can put on the bottom of the tub to, to give it a little bit of traction there, but also um, making sure that um, the, the floors are dry and that you're not at a risk for falling in the bathroom. At night, you want to get a night light to put in the bathroom or other places in your home so that when you wake up, you're not confused on what direction to go and you can see where you're going, but then also go back to sleep safely. You can get um, a light to put on. Again, when you go out walking, you can put on this light and uh, be seen when you're out walking. Bending down for people sometimes if they've had surgeries and things can be dangerous. Uh, having a, a grabber in your home in different places will be helpful so you're not having to bend down and have a risk of slipping and falling uh, doing that, something simple like that. If, you're, if you are feeling unsteady, you could get a cane and that will help you around the house or even outside to maintain some stability. Uh, you may want to ask for, uh, to talk to a physical therapist and they can help get that cane and help make that work for you best. And then you don't want to be left without some way to contact people if you are fall or have an injury. So if you're going to go down the basement or maybe outside to work on the yard a little bit, take either a portable phone if it reaches outside or your cell phone with you so that if something does happen, you're able to call for help. And the other thing to know is that if you are on any blood thinners, Coumadin or Xarelto, 
you need to go to the hospital right away if you do feel that you've hit your head. And you know that is if you've fallen and you can't remember how you fell, or if, uh, again, if you've had contact with a hard surface, you want to make sure that that bleeding is checked. Otherwise, uh, you want to just monitor yourself for some, if you're having headaches and nausea and vomiting and other symptoms, you want to see a medical professional. But the most important thing is to prevent the injury from happening in, in the first place. Well, thanks for joining me on this home safety tour. I hope you found the suggestions helpful and that you will find things in your home that you can maybe upgrade to, to keep you as safe as possible.